Hello again. For most of us, the rest of this weekend is shaping up to be fairly quiet. There's some dampness to be had at times in the west, always driest further to the east, and for most of us, it will be fairly warm, particularly by day. For this evening then, we've still got some thicker cloud across parts of western England and Wales running up through the Irish sea coast. There's a few spits and spots of drizzle here. This is attributed to a very weak weather front. The driest, clearest weather, as we've seen through the day, will continue across central and eastern England. Also, some decent clear spells coming through across parts of northeast Scotland. Now, the last couple of nights have been on the chilly side, but for many of us tonight, temperatures will tend to hold up comfortably in the mid-teens for some of us across western areas. Still potentially a little on the chilly side across rural parts of East Anglia and the southeast, where one or two spots may just fall into single figures. But here, it will be a bright start to our Sunday morning. Lots of sunshine to greet the day across many central eastern parts of England, and it will stay fairly bright here too, although the sunshine turning rather hazy from time to time. The northeast of Scotland should do very well for sunshine as well, particularly around the Murray Firth, running up towards Caithness and the Northern Isles. But always further towards the west, we've got more in the way of cloud, as we had through Saturday, with the old spot of rain across parts of western England and Wales, and then later in the day, some more persistent rain arriving to the far northwest of Scotland. For most of us, temperatures on Sunday will be a degree or so higher than what we saw on Saturday. So we should get to 24 or 25 degrees quite easily across parts of the southeast. And again, around the Murray Firth, we could again see 22 to 24 degrees. That's not bad going for this time of year. But is this front in the northwest? It's a cold front which will be introducing some heavier persistent rain for a time to northwest Scotland, and then outbreaks of rain coming across Northern Ireland into northwest England, other parts of Scotland, as we move through into Monday morning. Fairly cloudy and still relatively warm ahead of this front, with another relatively warm and humid night to come, 14 or 15 degrees typically across England and Wales. But behind this front, you see the greens on the map here, temperatures falling back into single figures to start Monday morning across parts of Scotland. This front will continue to shuffle its way southeast through Monday, tending to fizzle as it does. And this is because we've got high pressure building in from the Atlantic, killing off that front, bringing a lot of dry, fine, settled weather for the first half of next week for much of the UK, light winds too. So while still rel relatively warm by day, and that cold front to introduce some cooler air, certainly by night, it will be on the chilly side. So we're starting off this week mostly dry, some warmth at first, particularly across the southeast, but tending to turn that bit cooler from the northwest as the week progresses. Whatever you're doing, take care.